Hi. Now, what I want to do is introduce you to this function here. It's pronounced y equals the natural log of x. This is an L, and then here we have an N. The natural log of x. Some people say ln or ln x, but I'm going to say the natural log of x. It's shorthand for saying the log of x in base e. Remember e is that constant 2.718 and so on. And this function or the natural log of x is the inverse of y equals e to the power x. So in other words say if I had y equals e squared 2.718 and so on to the power 2, what do we get? Well you'll need a calculator to work that out but it comes out to be 7.39 and so on. So when we're doing the inverse we're taking the natural log of 7.39 and so on and saying well what number do you have to raise e to? What power do you raise e to in order to get 7.39? Well, the answer is 2. OK, it's the inverse function. Now, when it comes to sketching the graph of y equals the natural log of x, then what we can do is remember back to what we discussed about inverse functions and the graphical relationship. Do you remember that if you've got inverse functions they are reflections of the original function in the line y equals x. Let's just draw that line y equals x in the diagonal through here. Okay, That's our line y equals x. Now if we take the graph of y equals e to the power x, then we've seen earlier that that's a graph that doesn't touch the x-axis but gradually works its way up like this, cuts here at 1 and then goes shooting off up here. Let's just mark that in as 1. The x-axis or the equation of the line y equals 0 is an asymptote for the graph of y equals e to the power x. And this graph tends to infinity up here. So when it comes to sketching y equals natural log of x, what we're going to have is a graph coming from here, rising, going through 1, and then carrying off like this. Still rising, but as x tends to infinity, it's rising but very slowly. And this point here is going to be the mirror image of this one here, so it's going to cross the x-axis at 1. And you'll see that for the graph y equals the natural log of x, we've now got the y-axis as being an asymptote. In other words, the equation of that line is x equals 0. Now, if you forgot this particular method, you can always resort to drawing up a table of values for the function y equals the natural log of x. Just start with x and then we'll have the y values. And let's say you started with x being 0 0.001. And if you work that out on your calculator, what you'd find to one decimal place is it came out to be minus 6.9. So you can see that as we get closer to this y-axis, as x gets small, the y-value is minus 6.9. Take 0.1, a little bit further away, we end up with minus 2.3. And 0.5 gives minus 0.7. When you put in 1, you get 0, so that's where it crosses the x-axis. And then for other values, 2, you'll find you get 0 0.7. 3, you end up with 1.1. So you can see it rising very slowly. 
In fact, when you put in a million, 10 to the power 6, what you get back is 13.8 to one decimal place. So you can see that it is going to rise very slowly, but it still goes up, okay? It will eventually go to, or tend to, infinity, as x tends to infinity. So you have this alternative approach, the table. But personally, I prefer to always remember the graph of y equals e to the x, and then just reflect in the line y equals x, because it's an inverse function, and you get your graph then of y equals the natural log of x. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial, and I hope that uh, it's been of some use to you.